Welcome, welcome, Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising. I'm Key. We're now in the Akashi Records Library. We're in the ancient area. Um, I know what you're thinking. I've already done a reading for October. For the ones that have, again, I had to redo it. Um, for the 12 or hold on for the 13 that did come into the library earlier I appreciate that it is appreciative what I'm hearing is that was only for your eyes to see ears to hear um, so this is why I have to redo it again so let's see what archives in the Akashi Records are here for you. Wow, right now you are making changes. People around you notice that you're making changes. Off the back, the changes that you are making came at a cost. It either could have been another person that meant the world to you or you meant the world to them. But something about it just didn't feel right or was not at the right time. It could be a person, place, or thing. Anything that you truly wanted and you knew you deserved it, is it the way you wanted it to be? It's something about that partial. This was a karmic lesson. Karmic lesson is in the area of changes. When it comes to your Heavenly Father, or when it comes to Father, is this person felt like a father figure to you? I'm feeling... Scorpios, that you actually make them feel like you carry that role of a father figure. As if, if we had to understand God in a human body, you are that example. Or this is what the person could be thinking about. Ah, it could have been a, uh, something that is meaningful was changed. It could have been in regards to faith in God. Maybe this person did not believe in God and you're helping them to see it was nothing wrong with how they felt. But to say that there is no God, then something exists. An uh, energy or entity exists that created us. That's something that cannot be changed. That concept alone is making someone really relook really at what they thought faith or what they thought God is. Wow. You have justice on your side to see that who a person is, what a person wants, and what they are willing to do to get that is one and the same. It just depends on the person's perception or sight of it. Can they see the difference and see that they also are the same? You are that person, Scorpio, that exudes this. You're seeing that it's nothing wrong with being fair and just in decisions. You know that you're doing what you know is right. You're standing up for your beliefs. Ah, at what cost? Now we see why that statement was said or felt with the five of water. It's like being a vessel, but ah, okay, guys, a vessel, an empty vessel. Is a person's vessel empty or is it complete? Something about that term. Hmm. 
you have always been a Celtic in bringing people together in all areas of life. You make people feel like home, whatever that means to them. Hmm. Maybe that would be an interest to find out when people say that about you, what do they mean by that? You'd be probably surprised. Not really, but you would be because it's that person speaking. More than one person is speaking this to you. This person could have felt the coldness or the shade from you, from you not speaking, seeing them, hearing from them, nothing. Like you just shut it down. And it's like a sun. When you don't feel the sun, all you do feel is shade. Hmm. Wow. You have the opportunity to move forward. An exciting new opportunity, career advancements change your life now. You are changing your life in many ways, but now you're going to ascend and change your life even further. So that... You, the shock and awe, the shock, surprise, yes, the shock, surprise, you are making people really start to be accountable for who they are. It's something about you that makes them feel that way. But other than that, Scorpios, from you accepting yourself within and outside of yourself in that form you will get physical opportunities either through other people where they tell you in their own way how far you have come based on the things they don't even tell you mm. you are galactic you are that guide to bring people together when again answering that question when people feel like home around you Scorpios Scorpions to what way do they feel like home Wow, guys, y'all got to bring that up. Okay, E.T., come home. If y'all ever watched E.T. before, you know what that means. For all those who haven't, this to feel like home, when they say home is where the heart is, where's your heart at? Wherever your heart is, that's home. So if your heart is physically leading you to a community like, for example, this church, this church is not just any church. It has Celtic um, uh, conduct. It has a way of seeing themselves as a character. So Celtic is another form. Well, it's connected to um, Gnostic paganism. Uh, maybe you have some keen knowledge on that, Scorpio that you see how it does translate into other belief systems, if that resonates with someone out there in the world. Ah, in the world, yes, galactic. We could have some astronauts in, up in here. Welcome, teachers, people of the marineology, justice system, father figures are here, welcome. People that look up to you as a father figure, welcome. Know that you are a essential piece to people. When they feel accountable for being themselves, you're making people not feel fearful of being accountable. When we say we are accountable for something, it, it kind of makes a, a, a feeling of having clutches on us. Like as if we're cuffing our own self. Where it's not to make you feel contained, is to make you know that that part is part of you. That is not the whole picture, but to plaster it as um, something to be ashamed of or something to blame or something to bound or bondage. What, what good is it give, getting you? Okay, all right. So galactic, you are a guide. When people feel like home, sometimes you make people feel like they too are a star because you know it. But in what way do you know it? Mm. You're seeing the way you... People are seeing you probably for the very first time. And the ones that do know you, 
It's as if they're seeing you, wow. See you for the very first time. It's something about you where it's who you are inside and out is exuding. You have elevated to, to such a limb that you exude elevation before you even speak. Wow. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary worry. Yes, you may be stressed right now. You have every reason to be stressed because whatever you have started, it is like I uh, mentioned it to Libra. You build it, it sh they shall come. That structure. Wow. You're helping people to break the bondage and the shackles that they have within themselves and around them. A lot of times, it's easier to see physical shackles and bondage. Yet, we don't know that people are walking around with bondage and cuffs on themselves. You're helping them to, you're helping them in some way how to get out of that concept or that type of consciousness. It's all right that they feel like that, but finding why. All right, Michael, tell me why, why do they do me that way? Do they do me that way? Ah, all right. You're seeing that even though a person can be older, they can feel like a child on the inside, still learning, still growing, still fumbling at times. Not knowing how to say things or how to speak. Again, the appearance. A person can, a, a being can be an adult, yet the way they feel on the inside, if they felt like on the inside like a baby, guess what? That will translate into how they actually sound when they're speaking. Yes, they can sound like they're speaking French, English, uh, Hebrew. Whatever language that is home, the native tongue to that person, yes, they could be speaking it. Yes, they could have traditions and um, belief systems that are mature, yet the way they may put them together or um, speak of it, they may not feel like they know, even though you know. Again, something about you is a teacher, a healer. You know because you were once them. People around you are going to exude where you have come from. So if you had bumps along the way, you're going to find people that are maybe appear mature, but they could be immature. Or they're mature, but they feel that they're immature. It's something about one or the other is not in sync. If this comes into a birth and an idea, you know... When you're, when you're ready, because you can see it. You have the will of fortune. Look at that, Archangel Michael. So Michael J, he got his wings. He's now Archangel Michael J. And Arch Archangel Michael is here with you to see that you are a complete person. You are the 1010. You are that news, that win-win. You show people how to be that win-win, how to be that news for themselves. If you want to get things done, what they say, get it done yourself. But it's a reason for that. Because only you would know why you want to get it done. So a time of positive change, again, the changes you have made came at a cost. But now you know that the cost is giving you a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So if you're concerned, if you're a fortune teller, welcome, welcome. That's a very hard thing to do, to be a fortune teller in even this time period. So welcome. You'll know how to set the course where you'll feel right about that and not feel worried anymore. If, if you are a person that is just going on faith that requires you to really believe in what you're going forward in is might have stemmed at first from fear, but you're becoming fearless. You'll see that, wow, 
Some of these cards were in the beginning reading, so it is also made for others to hear this too. You are now loving your life. Life is loving you back in a way in how you see things, both on the surface and underneath. If you don't see that balance, you have no minds of taking yourself out of the equation and being very okay with that, but now being okay with that. That's a different feeling though. Accepting it and acknowledging it is two different things. But you're seeing that they're one and the same. When you're doing this, wow, you'll get another person that feels the same way you do or if this is already a person that you have been teaching these lessons and you didn't notice you were doing that, when they do come back around in your life, when the time is right, God God brings people in our lives when we're ready. Have you ever noticed when somebody really broke your heart? You could tell when you are not all the way healed because you didn't see that person. God bless that. Because if you did see that person, they don't, they don't want to see that side of you. And maybe sometimes they needed to see that side of you to change, to evolve. That's also relevant. Now, when someone, place, or thing does hurt us, and we wonder why did they do us that way, or why did they do you that way, you'll start to see why that is, because have you ever done what that person did to you, just to somebody else? That could have been the karmic lesson here to collect with you. Or someone around you that you had to watch that happen to. This is why you know what you know. Because you also been that person. Or was that person. Or know what it looks or feels like to be around situations like that. It's that, that layer of skin. That vulnerability. Vulnerability is not something that we should just vex. It is a victory in its, own, in its own. But it is both. It is both, like the sun and the moon. So, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. You have the changes that you had to do within also affected the people around you. It made them feel like they had to make some changes because the way you made changes. Now, that is not your fault. It may, they may want you to think that way, but it is not. When you make changes, maybe that's probably why at times you may have done it in secret. Because when you do changes on the surface and people see it, you can also see why people would want to stop you and why some people would want to support you. Both are relevant. Both are it's like you can't can't take the good over the bad or you can't take the bad over the good. It's like it, you have two hands. It just, it'd be hard to just accept one part because it's, it feels good or it tastes better. When they say bittersweet, it's, it's sweet, but first you got to taste the bitter. Some people can and some people won't, but you'll understand when they can't, it's all right. And when they can... They're not off the hook, but you'll know where they stand. So, if this reading resonates with you, press the like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to get a personal reading, look in the description box below. We will see you on the other side.